Uh, hello, my, my name is Carlos Baquero, so I'm a professor in Porto University and a researcher in NSTEC. And my field is basically distributed systems, and my, our talk here was about CRDTs, which is conflict free replicated data types. Okay. I'm, my name is Nuno Preguiça, and I'm an associate professor at Nova University, Lisbon. Um, I'm uh, also a researcher at Nova Links Research Center, and I do research mostly in distributed uh, systems and distributed data management. Yes, yeah, so when you look at CFDT, specifically some for sets, then you have to choose like a add wins or a remove wins semantic, and this has an impact on how much metadata you store. But if you don't mind paying the price of storing more metadata, you can keep the, the metadata needed for the more more complex semantic for the movement and when you, you combine the operations we can then choose at that time which semantic that you want to, to apply. But there is a cost in the amount of metadata that you need to store. Okay, so the quick the quick answer for, for that is yes. Okay. So a, a more great answer uh, says that we will need to look at what is the concurrency semantics that we want for, for that. And in fact, when we have cascading, the problem gets more complex with only with single referential integrity. Um, and we need new uh, solutions for solving those problems. The solutions are similar to the solutions that I've shown in the talk about referential integrity, but they are more complex because they can go into more than one level and new inconsistencies might appear Okay, so the quick answer is yes, the, the long answer is probably we need to check our paper to see how that works. So recently we, we didn't do any work today, um, but we were uh, recently in a project proposal. Yeah, we have been working since, I don't know, more than 20 years. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but recently we have not worked in any paper, but we have only done project proposals. And but one thing that will probably happen is that like by staying here for some time, we'll probably talk about uh, some new ideas, so it's very likely that uh, we'll get some new ideas just by staying here and having some time together. Here. So I'm uh, working on, on a paper uh, on Bloom filters, which is also a technology that is commonly used. and. Uh, it's basically uh, making a transformation so that you can apply it to streams and you can say like I want the last 1000 elements always kept in the bloom filter and it will forget elements older than that like automatically so that is one of the lines of research. Okay, so myself, I've been working in different things, but one thing that, that I can talk about is uh, work that I've been doing about uh, su supporting security in these weakly cons consistent systems. So what happens if we have clients that are malicious, how we can handle those problems and we can still have uh, a system that converges with something that makes sense for the application. For example, if you have games, in games it's it's very keen for users to kind of uh, be malicious and try to circumvent the rules of the games without being caught. Okay, and we've been trying to develop uh, solutions to address those problems. So it's uh, always very impressive to come to an uh, industry conference. We, we normally go or go more often to academic conferences, so it's very all very professional, well organized, lots of people attending. Because when you go to academic conferences, sometimes it's only like less than 100 people. So it's good to also to be able to talk with people in the industry so that we know the real problems that they are facing. And that's very important to drive our research directions and try to do stuff that is useful in a, a broader sense. Yeah, it's more or less the same, the same feelings as, as Carlos. Okay, it's always impressive to see lots of people and to talk with people that are trying to use the things that we have developed. Okay, thanks. Thank you.